We are back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about Laravel 8 model. So how you can create a Laravel 8 model? So here I am going to show you a realistic example and how you can perform operation also. So now I have created a model which is blocks. Um, now I am going to remove this one. We have already blocks basically. So how this is created I will show you some example realistic example. Okay so now here uh, just look at here this is a by default created model. So not by default I have created here basically and here we have the controller you can check here so inside of the controller I have append here you can check we have the app model block something okay inside of the app block models uh, let me exit show you uh, here I have already this one so we can execute the this uh, model and here I will store inside of the database also I, I will show you don't worry about it so now um, how you can create model this is a basic question so now I am going to remove this one okay so now we can write here php addition make model and model name so we want model as a block so let's check we have the blog 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 dot php so now how we can write here so we need to here protected protected and equal to what kind of data we have we have title and give a space here and type here description so now we have the two fields basically okay one we have the title and second for the description okay so we have two field basically here one for the title second for the description so now here we have uh, inside the whole uh, home model we need to uh, basically use like this one use and how to perform like this one app inside the app folder we have models like this one and which models we are going to use blog so we need to write this one okay so inside of the blog then we need to write here we need to write here blog create request or here like this one look this is fine now we need to write here like this one so let's check uh, this is storing or not something so I'm going to type here the title and here is description and sum me the form let's check inside the database yes title and descriptions we're getting but not any message here so we can pass any kind of message here this is uh, this form is successfully submitted or not something so let's we have already created here so next video i will show you basically all of these like how to alert how to everything so this video was only the model so hope so this is clear for you thank you for watching this video